guys 2020 is finally ending and you're welcome to the final edition for the year for the cool peeps new music this week and my name is meg now 2020 has been an amazing year i know you love the way i say 2020 it's been an amazing year for music despite everything that happened we got to listen to a lot of fresh new sounds from a lot of artists and dj mike smith dropping bronya featuring medical plenke kweku afro and which forever is the perfect song to end the year with I mean, on Bronya, they all talk about how Corona came and how Corona affected them and the kind of things they are expecting to do this December because of how the year has been. And wait, we all know DJ Mike Smith drops bangers, right? So then you know exactly how the song is going to sound like. And I enjoyed it. It's a few good song. It's perfect. Ascarando, Ascarando. Shut down Empire. Uh, Away from Afrobeat, one thing that has made 2020 really great for me is the way hip hop thrive. Now look, the hip hop songs I'm going to talk about next. Hard songs. Let's start with Joy B and Sarkodie's Cold. Me, I liked Joy B's verse. I liked what Joy B did. And Sarkodie, Sarkodie, dear Chesa, say bragging no like Obe Kunye. Hey, Brasak, Brasak, see midlife crisis in Tina or rapid basa basa. It doesn't make any sense, but we are here for it. Personally, I'm tired of Sarkodie's flow, but then you cannot take it away from him that he has excellent delivery and he knows how to grab people's attention. <laughs> One rapper I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of listening to is Kweku Smoke. Kweku Smoke dropped his Snoop Forever album and oh god. Kweku eh. Listen, the album is solid. I, I I think it's a very solid album. I didn't get bored listening to any of the songs on it. You see, the thing about Kweku Smoke is, is the hunger, like he uses some kind of hunger to rap and I'm all for that kind of energy. I listen to him and I get hyped and he really, really spoiled there on this Snoop Forever project. If you are one of those stuck up people who don't like the new school style of rap and you appreciate the old school vibe, you definitely need to listen to Kid Black's new album. So Kid Black dropped an album titled For What It's Worth and the one thing I noticed the minute the album started was the way like his flow, you know, Kid, Kid Black can rap. And his voice has something extra that just makes everything a whole enjoyable experience. But then I noticed how his rap style was like the old school kind of rap style. And I really liked the Afrobeat sounding song with Kelvin Boy. And it was really interesting for me how Joey B had to kind of step up a little bit and polish up his style a bit to be able to fit the theme in the whole project it was interesting how jb had to change his style a little bit to be able to fit what was going on all my heels trying to make a deal what it cost to pill off and some bills and stat like 50 mil tipsy still should have stayed at home i felt like shit i might went overkill pray the lord my soul to take it by effort for the last shatawale said that afro beats Wakonka dance hall Wakonka Afro dance hall Wakonka it is this idea it is rap listen Shatawale dropped Ahonjo Las Vegas remember we used to see all these pictures of Shatawale in Kumasi and we we're wondering what was going on it was for this this particular song Ahonjo Las Vegas 
I would mention all the people he featured, but there are a lot. He featured Amrado, he featured YP, he featured Kofi Jama, he featured someone called FaZe. When I first heard the song was like nine minutes, I was wondering, but listen, the rappers killed it. I enjoyed everything. And by the time the song ended, I was singing the chorus with Shatawali because that Ahonjo Las Vegas song is super catchy and it's dope. I wonder why we didn't see the Kumasi drill rappers we know, we've come to know on the song. I don't know if maybe there's some kind of um, section or something in Kumasi, but then it, I, I felt there might be one of them on the song, but it was none of them and most of them were people from Accra who actually come from Kumasi. And wait, is Shatawali from Kumasi? Is he from Ahojo or something? Because I need to know. I really need to know. Plus. The video was just full of love. You could see that all the people, they totally love Shatawali. And thank you, Shatawali, for this jam. Ohio, Ibuakwa, Chicago. Shout out to rappers like YP, Kumerika, and Swagwan. Big up my G's on the streets, skipping it real. Uti rapper didn't say I'm Rado. You hear name like Kim Paluda. Kofi Jama, Kwe Kofi. Friend, how would you guys say guys? Hold on, I'm free. Hold on, I'm free. Wow. Because this is our last and final episode for the year 2020, our music tip for today is to go on coolpeeps.com and check out the Cool Peeps Rewind 2020. In music, I put together the top 10 songs, hip hop. Top 10 hip hop songs, top 10 Afrobeat songs, top 10 flawless albums, anything that's going to round up this year's music. I put it together and you guys need to check it out just to wrap up. And you know, remember some of the songs and albums you've forgotten about and introduce yourself to some new music that you probably missed. This has been Meg. This has been the Cool Peeps New Music Show. Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year and please like, comment, subscribe and I'll consider that a gift from you to me.